part three wants us to work out the greatest possible value that this can be for, for a particular angle x and y. Um, for this, we need to realise that this is kind of like 8 sine theta minus 6 cos theta, but it's four times bigger, and we've got an, obviously an x instead of theta. So we could re we can rewrite 36 sine x minus 24 cos x as 40 sine x minus 36.9. And we can similarly write 16 sine y minus 12 cos y as 20, because that's 2 arcs sine y minus 36.9. So to find the biggest value of this, we can find the biggest value of this. Now, you can see that we're doing a subtraction here. And if I want to make this sum have a the biggest answer I can get. I obviously want to start off with something really big, so I want the maximum for this, but I want to take away the very smallest amount I possibly can. And if I can take away something negative, that's going to be even better, because it's actually going to increase what we had for A to begin with. So the next thing I need to do is think about the biggest value that, firstly, sine x can be, and then the biggest value, 40 lots of sine x can be. We know that sine x oscillates between minus 1 and 1. So the biggest value for this part here is, four, is 1. The big, very biggest that this can be is 1. So the very biggest thing, the value that this can take is 40 times 1. Because don't forget that 40 would just stretch the sine graph 40 times as much. It doesn't matter that I've got this x minus 36.9 because that, just, that will just be 1 at a particular value of x. We're not asked what the value of x is, we just want to know the y value, we just want to know the, the value that the function can be. So we don't really need to pay any attention at all to what's in this bracket here. If we go over and look at the second part, we've said that we want this to be as small as it possibly can be because we're taking it off. And we know that um, the sine graph has a minimum value of negative 1. So the smallest value that this term can have is 20 times negative 1. So if we work all that out, we're going to get 40 take away negative 20. So the maximum value of this expression here is 60, 40 minus minus 20.